All right, so this is a book I just finished reading. It's a Good Morning America book club pick. Um, that doesn't really mean much to me, but it made to you. But it's Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. So this book follows the main character, Elizabeth um, Zott. She's a chemist, or she aspires to be one, but it's the 1950s, and she's a woman, and it goes to um, the nuances of that. I won't really get into it because I'll spoil a lot. Um, but I would say the book is really a conversation on what it means to grieve. And when I say grieve, I don't mean just like the physical loss of a loved one. But what does it mean to grieve like your aspirations, your ambitions or expectations of what the world should or um, will, is willing to give you? And it explores that. I like that each character has their own voice. So each character is introduced in the book. Even the dog, like it's told from their perspective, which is um, makes it kind of funny. Um, this book is funny, but definitely not intersectional. It's, um, I would call it a very typical white feminist um, book. But I was still, it was still fun to read. But I'll give you an example of what I mean. So this is on page 14. Elizabeth Zott held grudges too except her grudges were mainly reserved for a patriarchal society founded on the idea that women were less, less capable, less intelligent, less inventive, a society that believed men went to work and did important things, discovered planets, developed products, created laws, and women stayed at home and raised children. She didn't want children. She knew this about herself, but she also knew that plenty of other women did want children and a career. And what was wrong with that? Nothing. It was exactly what men got. So like pretty on a nose or like comments like that, like even on page 331, like the character's talking, um, she has like a cooking show, but she's a chemist. So like she really frames it as that. Um, and she says, that's why I wanted to use Supper at Six to teach chemistry, because when women understand chemistry, they begin to understand how things work. Roth looked confused. I'm referring to atoms and molecules, Roth, she explained, the real rules that govern the physical world. When women understand these basic concepts, they begin. They can begin to see the false limits they have been created for them. You mean by men? I mean by artificial, cultural, and religious policies that put men in the highly unnatural role of single-sex leadership. Even a basic understanding of chemistry reveals the danger of such a lopsided approach. So that's like what the character's saying throughout the book. So it's like pretty on her nose when it comes to like, I believe in equality for all type of stuff. But it doesn't get into the nuances of what that means or looks like in a day to day. And it doesn't do that for the character. But I still laughed at some parts. Like it was still pretty funny just because she's like, just imagine like a woman in 2022, like in the 1950s. Like that's how her tone was throughout the book. So, yeah, um, lessons in chemistry. It was pretty good. Like if you have nothing else to read and you need like a uh, palate cleanser, I would recommend it.